Hello and welcome to Carmen Miller Group's Talk of the Town, Carolinas. I'm your host, Patty Mercer. We are here today at Portville High School to learn about a big achievement they just received. So we're going to the principal himself. And before we do that though, if you have been thinking about maybe moving to the Carolinas, make sure to check out carolinahomesearch.com. While you're there, you can see past episodes of Talk of the Town too. You can see what it's like to live right here. Come on, let's go. Um, congratulations. You guys have achieved yet another big honor. So thank you for letting us talk about that today and brag a little bit about our schools. But let's start with uh, what exactly have you achieved in 2021? Well, gosh, uh, this, this award couldn't come at a better time for us. Um, everybody's got COVID fatigue. There's so much going on. There's so many challenges. Having something to celebrate has really just been a fantastic timing for Fort Mill High School. So Fort Mill High School won the National uh, Blue Ribbon Schools of Excellence Lighthouse designation. So we've been named a lighthouse school. Wait, hold, hold. Lighthouse, isn't that like the very, very top? Absolutely it is. So. And it's hard to get a Blue Ribbon School. I mean, that is in itself uh, brag worthy. So in 2018, we won the Blue Ribbon School uh, from the federal government. And that was the second time we won it in 2004 and then again in 2018. So uh, big achievement for us. I got to go to DC and we, we were recognized by the um, Sec National Secretary of Education. Uh, but this is a, a slightly more involved process. So Blue Ribbon Schools of Excellence, uh, they come out and, and look at us across nine dimensions that gauge everything from academics to school culture. And they talk to students, parents, and teachers. There's survey data. We, we actually collected surveys from all three of those groups with 17,000 data points. And then uh, the Blue Ribbon Schools of Excellence team goes in and they, they review that and they come back to us with some findings and say, here's what you're doing great. Here's what we think you can improve on. And uh, here's, here's the absolute immediate needs to address. And then they actually come and they visit our classroom. So in November, we were visited by the 2018 National Principal of the Year, Dr. Akil Ross. And he came around with me and toured every room on our campus, popping in, observing lessons, and then he would survey our groups. He would actually have FaceTime with our students, with our teachers, and with, um, with our parents to say, there are no employees here. What, what's the truth? How do you feel about the school? So it exposed our blind spots, but it also validated our strengths. And that was invaluable feedback to us. Oh my goodness. So it's like they didn't leave any stone unturned. No, absolutely not. It is a very involved process and just the process alone, hearing from our kids what we needed to focus on and hearing what they liked was worth it just to begin with. But the fact that we can be validated um, nationally, shine a spotlight on what we're doing great. Um, schools that go through it, some, some are not recognized at all. Some are known as uh, points of light schools, beacon schools, but the top honor, and we are the first high school in the nation this year to, to receive it, especially with all the challenges of uh, 2020 and 2021, but we're the first uh, lighthouse school by Blue Ribbon Schools of Excellence in 2021. That's a big deal. And you know, you mentioned that it's 2021. Who would have thought last year that this would be where we are today uh, with so many COVID CDC guidelines? How does it impact you in 2021 compared to maybe just uh, receiving this in, a, in just a regular year? Well, like, like I said, it couldn't have been timed uh, better because we really, masks, uh, distancing, everything we do to keep safe also takes just a little bit off of, off of the uh, positivity and the culture. The things that we love so much, our school spirit, sometimes we still had a pep rally this year, socially distanced and outdoors, um, but it's, it's just not, it hasn't been the same. So the fact that we could uh, have something to hang our hat on, something to celebrate, as a matter of fact, the kids didn't know anything about this and it was kind of a spur of the moment. We're just so excited to, to celebrate it. We went out and bought ice cream for all of the students face to face. They had no clue it was coming. And there was an audible cheer and a yes throughout the building when we said, we're celebrating with ice cream, come on up. And, and that was just great to see the oh. smiles on the kids' faces, to, 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 to celebrate with them. And they were excited about this because they knew it was for something good. You know, I think it's also important. We have a lot of um, viewers that live out of 
state, you know, far away. Maybe some places have not even had in-class learning whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Fort Mill High School, the Fort Mill School District, you guys began at the beginning of the year with a hybrid model mm -hmm. to at least have some face-to-face -face learning. That's right. So how did that work and what's the next step in terms of five-day face-to-face sure. in classroom? So when we returned in August, we were on what we call an A-day, B-day hybrid schedule. So alphabetically, the first half of our alphabet students would come on A-day and then the very next day was B-Day. And some schools, some school districts would have a down day. Maybe they would do four days a week and on that fifth day they would do remediation or give a deep cleaning of the school. But we felt it was important to continue that face-to-face. -face. So we have just rolled A-Day, B-Day, A-Day, B-Day all the way through. And that's what we've been on since August. And in March, we're set to return five days a week face-to-face -face instruction. That'll bring those students back. Now, Fort Mill High School this year, we have a total of 1,940 students at present. <laughs> um, but 300 plus are, are virtual. So some of our families haven't felt comfortable in that A day B day model, yes. and we've met their needs by providing them a virtual option. The kids are excited with uh, the ice cream celebration, the hoo hoo. But what about, you know, from our community standpoint sure. and the staff, the educators, administrators, how, how does it affect? How does it feel from that perspective? Um, what, what's funny is I was so excited. I have been, I've been dreaming about this. It was something I wanted to do for a couple of years. I uh, was lucky enough to get a grant through the Foundation for Fort Mill Schools. They support us locally. Great. We had a grant. They helped us uh, to, to co go through this process with Blue Ribbon Schools. And when I announced it to the teachers, I actually had a confetti cannon and fired off confetti in the auditorium. Now, I had to clean it up myself later, uh, but it was well worth it. What I like to say about this is, you know, we, we celebrate awards, they're very meaningful to us because um, it shines a national spotlight on what our kids are doing and what our teachers are doing, which I think is amazing work, especially now uh, during, during a pandemic. Well, that's it for Carmen Miller Group's Talk of the Town Carolinas. Hey, if you're thinking about buying or selling your home, just call Carmen or check out new listings and beautiful places to call home at carolinahomesearch.com. While you're there, you can also see past episodes of Talk of the Town Carolinas. And remember, when it comes to Fort Mill School District, all our schools are outstanding. Until next time, I'm Patty Mercer. Bye-bye.